which is using him. So, yes, you are correct, Doctora. The implication of making mention of all these forms is allowing the use of these forms as medical cannabis. But, but, that is the implication. I think we're not sure the question, the question. What is actually our parameter in saying and claiming that these forms have no efficacy, significance yet? Oh, according to Maki Shefe, she's using him. <laughs> So, yes, you are correct, Doctora. The implication of making mention of all these forms is allowing the use of these forms as medical cannabis. Not a, but that is the implication. I think what I shared, the question, the question. Suggesting it in lieu of any other derivatives. Yes. May we know the comment of Mr. Gomez? Uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. I believe they said it more appropriately, inappropriate, um, in their appropriate finish dosage form. Yes, it's uh, easier and it's better than saying in measurable doses. So, and any appropriate finish dosage form? If you have no other comment Madam and suggestion, yes, Co Chair. I, I would agree to that, but I would still insist on putting. Uh, no, I mean, I, I would still insist on putting all, yeah, yeah. Uh, all forms yeah. that are being used right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, because you you might have a problem with Pidea later on. Does it mean that they will not have support authority to it? I think you are consistent on that. We put all forms, but we add in the end. And any appropriate finished dosage form. We all agree? Okay, so the recent suggestion is hereby adopted. And if you have no other comment and suggestion, we now proceed to paragraph, new paragraph F. Medical use. Any comment and suggestion? Slide 36 to 40. No, this is new paragraph F because we will be inserting the definition of non debilitating medical condition as new paragraph D. Now we shall be proceeding to our new what? paragraph G. The Honorable Arroyo is the agreement of the PWG to do away the definition of written certification because after all the the authorized medical physician will be given prescriptions then we are disregarding paragraph new paragraph G 941 to 42 including line 1 to 2 of paragraph 3 we consider them as deleted however as suggested by co-chair, we will be adopting as paragraph G, new paragraph G, the definition of qualified medical cannabis physician. Now we proceed to section 4. Uh, with the adoption of medical cannabis office, then this section 4 is changed into the medical cannabis office. May we know your suggestion with respect to line 5 to 8 and line 9 to 13. Honorable FPGMA, because in our proposed substitute bill, CCD is supposed to have a governing board in a secretariat to be headed by a director and two deputy directors for research and development and for administrative. We understand, of course, that our former president wishes to sim simplify the office to regulate our medical cannabis, so we are soliciting the wisdom of our former president. Thank you, Madam Chair. My proposal is the, the office of whatever his name is, cannot 
So without extracting and processing. So for me, it is it is becoming repetitive. For me, I appreciate it as superfluous already. We don't have to to be so detailed about what we do in order to manufacture. When we say we will manufacture, it necessarily follows that we will process, we will extract. Otherwise, you have nothing to manufacture. Uh, if I may just uh, of this bill instead of becoming too detailed about this bill. Let us be reminded that after the bill is passed, the Medical Cannabis Office is mandated to come up with uh, internal rules and regulations for the implementation of the law instead of going into so much details of the bill. Mr. Manasa, I hope we can move fast. Paragraph C, no other comment and suggestion, then we are adopting paragraph C. We move to paragraph D, that is line 29 to 30. Comment and suggestion. Now we're becoming fast. <laughs> now we proceed to paragraph E. Comment and suggestion. Mr. Gomez, would you like to say something? Um, on my end, Honorable Chair, we would just like to add to certified natural plant practice. We would be recommending and endorsing only the inclusion of medical cannabis as part of the curriculum of the medical courses in colleges and universities. But of course, that will be subject to the uh, appreciation and approval of the concerned agency. That is checked. I don't see anything wrong with that. After all, we are in line to allow research and development. But I yield to your Then, if you have no other comment and suggestion, then we are jointly approving and adopting paragraph J. Now we proceed to paragraph K. We are so fast. <laughs> this is also a suggestion of Kong L. Ray. Quality cultivators, cultivars of the cannabis plant. I think this is also in line with uh, welcoming the research and development. So, Co Chair, would you like to join this representation in approving this paragraph? Yes, sir, sir. Now we proceed to paragraph L. The MCO, Doctora, yes. you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, before we move to uh, line 28, uh, in the last TWG meeting, I was looking for um, for a body that would monitor also adverse outcomes related to the use of this medical cannabis product. Uh, it, it, it will go with the IRR. Yes. So again, I hope you join us in our position not to be so detailed about the bill because after all we still have the IRR to be drafted by the MCO after the approval of our bill. Doctora, are you okay with that? As long as it's brought up. Thank you, Doctora. Now we proceed to paragraph L. Ma'am, this is about the, uh, the term of the CCD, so we do away with this. Yes. The MCO shall remain to be the office responsible for the regulation of medical cannabis. That is our simple position about the MCO. No more definition of term of the same. May we solicit the wisdom of our honorable and PJ. All about the, the, direct, the office of the director. As the board is already um, replaced by the legal agent and the legal agent. But would you still like to have the deputy directors or no more? No more, because no more. there were two deputy directors, one for research and development. And we said the government is not supposed to have the government to the main way and not the deputy industry. It was really a piece of value. We should have been ready to have it. And, uh, and now we are deciding to regulate rather than to lead in, lead in the development of the process. So the Honorable FPGMA is suggesting that Section 7 be utilized in defining further the MCO office to be headed by the director only. And uh, 
Mainly, uh, uh, Madam Chair, actually mainly, what will happen is it will describe the function of the director. And the qualifications as well. Thank